Martin Noss. What's up guys, Martin is back again with another video, another video, alright, with the Akai Force, man, been having so much fun with this unit, it's unbelievable. In today's video, I will be slicing, I will be chopping up uh, a vocal track, now you can do this with drums, you can do this with everything, alright, so we'll be diving in and we'll be chopping up some, 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 some audio and putting them on the pads, let's get into it. So first up, in order to access the track, all right, we're gonna um, go right here to empty project. So if you click empty project right there, right there it, it, on the window, it opens up the screen where you have all your tracks. Um, you could potentially add a, a drum track, an audio track, whatever you wanna do, all right? So then, but that's not what we wanna do right now. We want to actually find a, a, a the audio track that we want to sample and chop up all right and slice so hit menu and once you hit menu um, over here on the right hand side right on top we hit the browse button all right so once you hit browse it takes you to the, the, the where all the files are stored all right on your force um, you have places, you have content, you have expansions, but we're gonna go for places right now, all right, because I have an external SSD inside the unit. So that's where I have my 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 vocal tracks on, my acapella tracks on, um, that we're gonna slice. So I named it Akai Force. So click it, it takes me to a, a folder. Um, let me go for acapella right now. Let me just go for anyone. Um, let's go for Fresh Jordans, that's um, Popcorn. Big up yourself, Popcorn, what you mean? Big up the whole Gaza cartel, you know the whole thing, all right? Dance all music. All right, get back to it. <laughs> okay, so after that, after we, we, we hit places, we browse, we go to our file, we tap load right there down on the, um, the, the bottom right hand. All right, so once we load the track now, we want to actually edit the track, because the track is loaded, so we want to edit the track. So we just hit menu. Back again, we hit menu, and then we go to um, sample edit. And there you have your entire layout of, of the track right here. Uh, you have your entire layout of the track. All right, so once you want to sample the track, if, if, if you want to preview the track, you could hit the headphone button at the top, all right? And you can just um, just tap it, and it's gonna preview. You're gonna get all the sounds from it if you tap it right there. It's gonna play, all right? So that's a cool little trick right there. So you could trim the track right here if you hit the little S for start. Over here on the right, you could um, you put your end point, E for end. So right now, we actually want to um, slice up the the, the the entire track probably in some regions and stuff all right so what we're going to do is down here at the left the left bottom on your screen you want to tap trim so once you hit trim it takes you to to the next tab which is chop right and you have some subs right here manual threshold regions um, and BPM. But for what we're, we're, we're going to be doing, you can either use threshold, and I'll show you what threshold does, all right? So if you hit the threshold right now, it cal calculates it. And um, basically what it's going to do is it's going to just automatically just chop, chop up what it feels like. It's going to give you a number of slices. Um, there you go. So you have a lot of slices just automatically chopped up for you, 50 slices right here. You see, you see threshold, 50 slices. But I prefer to not get so, so many slices, all right? Um, so I prefer to hit region. So if I hit region, then automatically I could go to the region right here and I could add the amount of regions I want. I could add two regions, I could add three regions, you know, whatever amount of regions you wanna add, you can just, do it right here, all right? And if you wanna listen to it again, same thing. You go to each region, press press the section you want, press and hold it, right? And it's, oh, hit headphone. And hold it, and it's gonna automatically um, let you preview where the chops are. So if right now, if you wanna move in further to actually edit your start 
and your stop points, right? You will hit knob, all right? So you hit knob, and what that does, for these knobs down here, you have different ways of, of utilizing them. You can actually um, use them, um, pans, sends, project tracks, but right now we want to use it for the screen because we're actually going to go down, zoom in, and you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna hit screen. So right now, if you look down on the bottom half of the screen, you have your start, your end, your cue, your slice, your scroll, and your zoom. So let's say for instance, let's go back right here to the first slice. I want to zoom in, I just, you know, turn it up, right? And then I could move, I could move where I wanted the slice to start, right? Go back in so you could get more precise with your slices, all right? So you could get more precise with your slices. And you can just go through and go to all of them and pretty much just narrow them down to where you specifically want your slices to go. So now we actually listen, um, you know, we went down, narrowed down our slices and everything. So we actually want to send this to a track, right? Whether a drum track or an um, um, audio track, whatever it is, we want to send it to be able to use the pads to play our slices. So we hit shift, and this is what I like about the archive force. If you actually get stuck at any point when you're on the screen, hit shift, and it's gonna give you some secondary options. So you hit shift, and while holding shift, you're gonna hit convert. Now convert brings us to the screen where um, it, 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 it says, do you want to convert new drum track to um, using slices. That's what we wanna use, so we're gonna leave it at that. But you have additional options, all right? You have additional options right here to assign um, to, to certain pads, all right, on your force. But for right now, we're just gonna just do the, the entire thing, new drum track using the slices. Non-destructive, we're gonna leave it at that, all right, because we wanna be able to go back in to the slices if we have any changes to make. So we don't wanna just stick with it where we send it and it chops it up and then we can't go back in. So we're gonna hit do it. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna go back to the matrix and there you have it, right? There you have it, this track, Fresh Jordans, right? And you have all the, the pads right here with all your, your slices. So now, if you hit menu, go back to um, sample clip, you're gonna notice right now that you could actually, you see it's, it's playing all your, your slices on, on each pad. You could still go in and actually um, go down and, and move your start point for this slice um, and move your end point for each slice. All right, so pretty much, that's how you would go in and slice your audio tracks or your drum tracks, whatever you wanna do. So there you have it. That's how you go in and you slice up tracks. You slice up your vocals, you slice up your drum tracks. That's how you go and do it. So in my next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually go in and add effects to specific slices or add effects to the entire track, all right? So once again, hope you like the video. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you have not, just run a thumbs up because you know the thing got blessings and respect. And if you are thinking of purchasing the Akai Force, tell me why. Tell me one of the main features you see in the unit that's advertised that appeals to you. If you own the Akai Force already, please let me know what you love about this unit. All right? Until then, see you next time. Martin Us. I'm out. I'm out. All right? I'm out.